go to closed loop immediately because we've got to wait for the sensors to warm up. And yesterday we discussed how uh, different ways we were getting uh, things to warm up more quickly. Uh, fundamental way we're getting things to warm up more quickly is by changing engine designs so that we get a higher, a quicker temperature rise inside the engine. That's going to make the coolant temperature sensor sense that rise in temperature. So if we wanted to talk about the transition between open loop, which is how we start, and closed loop, which is what we want to get to, I'll write it like this. Open, go like that, open loop to closed loop. Three things have to happen. Number one is time. Now it used to take two or three minutes to get into closed loop because we really wanted to make sure everything was warmed up. That was when we had really primitive systems. Well, now there are some cars that will actually go into closed loop while the engine is still starting. Most of them, though, will take a little bit of time and they'll wait for these other two criteria to be met, which is number two is that the coolant temp has to rise forty five degrees Fahrenheit. Now you say, well, forty five degrees Fahrenheit temperature rises a lot. But if you think about it, you know, you've got each one of these cylinders is got a big fire inside it, and it's having what, twenty five fires per second? So it'll warm up pretty quick if you let it. And the third thing is that the oxygen sensor has to be greater than 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason for that is it's not going to be accurate until it's warmed up. It's not going to do this pattern over here until it's warmed up. So what did we do to get the oxygen sensor to warm up more quickly? We put heaters on it. And you're going to see heaters on every oxygen sensor about 1995. Yeah, probably so. Okay, but let's uh, explore what open loop really means. Open loop means that, again, the reason we start an open loop is because we don't trust the sensor output yet because the stuff's not warmed up. So what open loop means is that we're not going to use sensor output to determine what the computer tells the actuators to do. Computer monitors the sensors but doesn't use them. Now, of course, it's going to use the crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position sensor because it has to in order to fire the spark plugs at the right time. But I'm talking about things like these two, this, that. Well, I don't use that. Okay, so if the computer isn't paying attention to the sensors, then how does it know what to tell the actuators? It does that because it has pre-programmed instructions. <coughs> Which is to say, at the factory, they designed some software so that the computer will be able to run the vehicle until we get in a closed loop. Now, this will kind of explain why we need to get in a closed loop as quickly as possible. Because, you know, you can run a, an engine significantly richer than it's supposed to be, which is to say more fuel, and it'll still run fine. But if you run it a little bit lean, you're going to have significant drivability problems 
up to and including stumbling and dying. And what the manufacturers don't want customers to do is back their cars out. When my dad lived, when my dad lived in Laverne, he used to back his truck out onto Arrow Highway. They don't want you backing your car out into a busy street like that and then having it die. So they're always going to run your fuel injectors richer than they really have to. That's to keep it running. So, yeah, man. Um, so we're going to run an open loop for a very short period of time, hopefully. And then we go to closed loop, which is really what we need in order to get less emissions, better fuel economy, more power, better drivability, and uh, less engine wear. Now, old cars, a lot of times we had problems with them falling out of uh, closed loop. The oxygen sensor would get cold. That was before the days when we put heaters on oxygen sensors. And really, heaters on oxygen sensors have solved this problem of falling out of closed loop. Now, we're pretty much in closed loop all the time. Now, when you go to your scan tools, you're going to see OL and CL. That's usually the first thing you're going to see on a scan tools data display. Okay, so what's OL and CL? open loop and close loop. And the reason they put that there is so you can know where your computer is in terms of these two uh, engine control strategies. Now let me ask you, let's say one of these sen sensors failed completely. I don't know, coolant temperature sensor. That would probably kick you back into open loop. If you lost your coolant temperature sensor completely, how would you know? Is it going to put a light on the dash? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that's going to affect the emissions. So it's definitely going to put a light on the dash. Check engine light, service engine soon, malfunction indicator lamp however you want to say it, and that will tell you you have a problem. Get in there with a scan tool or whatever, your code reader, whatever you want, scan tool is better, and uh, see what the problem is. So things are a lot better than they used to be, way better. The scan tools, I mean, this, this, uh, this is way better than it used to be. Much easier to make money, I think, this way. But it's not something you can just do because Grandpa showed you how to fix his tractor. However, modern day tractors are all using this too. So this is the kind of information you can use all over the world on all types of vehicles. I mean, airplanes got the same system now. Helicopters, trains, all this stuff. All uses the same basic systems, which is why I wanted to make sure you were clear on it. And, uh, had a lot of exposure to it. Remember, the definition of the network bus is it's the structure that all the computers on the car hang to. And at, at the end of the network bus, let's remember, at the end of a network bus, there's this big thing, just like this. You ever seen that before? Sure. That's the OBD2 connector. And it's there so we can access that status with our diagnostic equipment. 